Hi, and a huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen. We're in Hanoi, we've got all the bikes around us. It's crazy in the city. I'm gonna take you out on the street tonight and we're gonna try 10 of the best Hanoi street foods. Probably from a tourist perspective. I'm actually gonna be doing another video later on, secret foods in Hanoi, so watch out for that video. And we're also gonna be doing sweet treats. But for now, let's get out on the street of old Hanoi city and taste obviously the pho. But we're also gonna be having bun cha, which is a similar sort of dish, but a little different. And we won't be forgetting just here where I'm gonna start this tour off with a banh mi. It's like a, a French breadstick. It's very French influence as well. They often put the pate inside and the force meats. Come on, let's start with banh mi. Can I have with the roast chicken? Yeah. So I'm gonna have this banh mi, the ladies, now I love the way they open these up with the scissors. They cut them open rather than slice them. Quite practical, I suppose. So we've got a nice pate going on there first. But whether you ask for it or not, you're gonna get that pate. I would not have it. Oh chicken. no, this is chicken. You ask for chicken. Oh yeah, chicken. 25. 25. So it's 25,000 dong, which is about, a, a, in Australian, about a dollar fifty probably a little bit less in US. Now they're filling that up with salad, but also something that really gives this great flavor, the coriander. So I've got my roast chicken in there. I've got all those lovely flavors, the pate as well. I tell you, it smells delicious. Tastes fantastic. The pate is fresh and delicious. The chicken is gorgeous and tender. Then you've got that coriander and salad in there. This is so good. The reason I like this place is I think the pate is better than a lot of places. I will leave it on my tour guide down below. Let's get on. Now here in Hanoi, you'll find the streets are divided up into districts of similar themes. Uh, we're on Hang Bo at the moment and this street is all haberdashery. You've got ribbons, you've got beads, labels, anything you want to do with haberdashery. All the shops down here will be selling a similar theme. And that is the same with the food in Hanoi as well. Chances are, if you find a street that has great street food, its neighbors and all the way down the street will also have fantastic street food. Time for some fur. We come to a little place just around the corner from where we're staying, Burgar. So it's on Seven Din Liet. I'll try and get the right pronunciation. Is this kakia? Oh no, lemon leaves. Lemon leaves, huh? Yes. So in goes the chicken. Thank you. Beautiful. The ladies sorting me out some beautiful chicken. We just tried this, uh, they got the lemon leaves. I don't think it's kakia lime leaves. It's a little softer. Uh, they've got the, um, the spring onions sliced up. Definitely gonna be some coriander in there as well. I'm really looking forward to this one. Looks really fresh and crisp. Let's wait for it to be bought out. Four on a bike, just pulled up nicely. So you can see all the herbs on top of that. Pick yourself out some communal chopsticks. So look, we've got all the beautiful shredded chicken on here. We've got some little uh, spring onions that have been sliced up. We have some chives and we've got this wonderful consomme, or it's a chicken broth. Let's give this a try. You don't tend to slurp up your noodles like you would with spaghetti. You just sort of snap them off or bite them off. I'm becoming a real fur addict. Fresh, gorgeous. Now, what you should probably do is take a little bit of lime as well. So we take a bit of fresh lime and just squeeze it in there. Oh, got me in the eye. A little bit of chili too. It doesn't need to have too much chili in, to be honest. Come in, take a look at the broth. Got this wonderful clear broth, not too greasy. Packed full of flavor. Actually, a little bit of white pepper or black pepper on that will just improve it a tiny bit. The heat's coming into the soup now. Oh yes, so good. Got a bit of chili in there, a little bit of that spring onion. Mm. Oh, the chilies just hit the back of my throat. They are hot chilies, so good. 
And I can just taste that little lemon leaf in there as well. So you know Hanoi has great fur. Uh, let's get on and enjoy some other delights of Hanoi. Where are you from? Australia. Melbourne. Melbourne. Yeah. This is Ban Tran Chun. And this is fish. Oh. Yeah. Squid. Nice. And then I've got a, a little a little quail egg as well. <laughs> We've got this um this spicy beef uh, floss which is really nice. This is lovely, huh? I like this. And, oh, it's spicy as well, huh? Under here, the base. So is that the mango? Banchan. This banchan. Banchan, this, oh, okay. So this, oh, that beef is lovely. This is the banchan. And no, no, no noodle. It's just sort of like a, a stretch, like a noodle, like a rice noodle here. So this is the banchan. It's nice. Banchan tun. It's a like a like a mixed salad vegetables. Yeah. Uh, it's quite nice. Salad kind of? Green mango, I think, oh, and some yeah. papaya, and a little bit of spice. And then on top they put the the beef floss. A little bit spicy. This. A couple of quail eggs. Oh, quail eggs too. You could take it home if you want to. Are quail eggs good? Are mm -hmm. they good? They're lovely, yeah. So on the corner of the street here, you've got the very famous and popular for 10, uh, but I really like the uh, Comfer. Uh, it's this one just here. Now, the spring rolls in Hanoi are fantastic, and we want to try both the fried spring rolls and the fresh spring rolls. This place looks as good as any. They look delicious. We actually came past here last night, and uh, a lot of people were eating. These tables were completely full. We've come a little bit earlier today, uh, so we can get in before the crowds come, and uh, I reckon these are gonna be absolutely delicious. Now look at these beautiful fresh spring rolls. They've got the chicken inside. They'll be full up with, um, lovely herbs and flavors a little bit of salad some springs in there you dip it in this little it's sort of like a, a, a fish sauce not very spicy oh that is so good beautiful aromatic light not at all greasy Okay, now by comparison, these are the fried spring rolls. And this is a, a pork fried spring roll. Lovely, crispy texture. Comes with a little bit of salad and some herbs here on the side. Again, we've got the sauce. Similar sort of fish sauce, just a light, refreshing sauce. I'm gonna take my spring roll and just dip it in the sauce. Here goes. Oh. They're delicious. Not too greasy. You get the pork in there. It's not as light and refreshing as the, the fresh spring roll, but I still absolutely love these. We'll just take a, a little bit of this fresh salad as well. Mm. Coriander. Oh, I love coriander. Now these donuts are fresh off the street. The lady here is cooking them up. They're absolutely gorgeous. Now, unlike the ones that are being handed out around the old town, which have been on those baskets all day, these are lovely and fresh. Give it a try. Oh, delicious. The oil is slightly savory, not super sweet. You've got the sesame on there. Uh, you've got the beautiful little donuts. Now also inside the donut, there's like a white bean paste. It's slightly sweetened, almost a uh, vanilla flavor. Another great advantage of these little donuts is they are gluten-free as well. And this being a cooking channel more than a travel channel, we will be covering these donuts as a recipe on Steve's Kitchen at a later date. It's amazing, there's a constant flow of people coming up to the store, picking up donuts on the back of their scooters, and off they go, and a few seconds later, another one appears. 
Now, we've been recommended to a place, and this isn't a place where you'll find any tourists as well. And I think sometimes it's good to get off the beaten track and try something very local. I hope I don't spoil this by sharing it with you. This place is called Ban Sam, and I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, obviously. They do beautiful barbecue. It's shut at the moment, but I've got some nice footage from last night to share with you. Good, this is good, yeah? Yeah. Food um, is good. Quan, Quan Sam. Quan Sam. Yeah. So, <laughs> strangely, we've just, we just met the uh, one of the guys from here. Is it your, your restaurant? Yeah. You're, you're the boss? Yes. Okay, so this is the, the guy that owns this restaurant. We had fantastic food here the other night and we will be back, thank you. Yeah, thank you. One of the great things, the smoky barbecue in here is so good, you are gonna come away with your clothes absolutely stinking of barbecue, but great memories. Now this little buncha was recommended to me by a YouTuber actually, a guy that I was looking here in Vietnam. He's got a great little YouTube channel, it's called For, For Your Eyes Only. The beautiful thing about this street bun cha is that they're actually doing the pork on the open coals there and they're using the, the bamboo uh, little pegs to hold the meat in place so you get this gorgeous look at the look at the charring on here this is pork belly it's got a beautiful beautiful texture now I'm going to try just the belly on itself oh. Oh, just that is so so good we've got all that wood char all the coke char in there so we've got this gorgeous clear broth now the idea is with bun char unlike before when you take some of your your fresh noodles beautiful fresh rice noodles pop them in in with your sauce in with your your broth take some of these gamma thank you at this point the ladies just brought out a little plate of freshly fried nam these are like a little spring roll a square spring roll packed full of vegetables and pork and all sorts of great flavors now i've got this great big pile here of salads coriander salad there's mint in here bean sprouts as well i'm going to pop this in with my broth let it just wilt down now if you like a little bit of chili in there pop the chili on top give it a little mix through i'm in bun cha heaven Let's go with this. Spicy coriander tastes absolutely delicious. Get a little bit of pork belly as well. This is real bun cha, real full flavored, delicious bun cha. All the details will be on steveskitchen.com on the website. So that fantastic bun cha, if you want to find it, it's just next to the, um, the Wolfhound pub and Fatlock, the end of the lane here. Fantastic bunch are really delicious. Now on to something else. Okay, I'm gonna have the, um, this is the guy, Michelle's filming. This is the guy that helped and served us last time with the chair. Okay. So first of all, he's gonna take a fresh coconut and he's just taking the top off. Now, for some reason this time, he's given me the coconut water. He didn't do that last time, but maybe it's because I'm a regular now. Now, firstly, he's filling the inside of the coconut with ice cream putting a little bit of shredded coconut in the center, and then he puts this beautiful swirl of ice cream on top. In goes some pieces of jackfruit, a little more shredded coconut, and then some pieces of this beautiful toasted coconut. Thank you. So get some nice photos. So here it is, that looks beautiful, doesn't that look beautiful? I'm saving the coconut water for Michelle. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get some of this, uh, I want some of that toasted coconut. Here we go. Sweet, cold, delicious. Got the little jackfruit in here. Little pieces of jackfruit, little bit of toasted coconut. Yeah? Now when you've finished, pay the old lady sat on the opposite side of the street. She is the cashier. Kama, thank you. I enjoy. <laughs> So that was our coconut ice cream on Totit Street. Fantastic, great. And the girls that we actually met are just coming down here, look. What's the chances? <laughs> really? I've, I've, just just had, had I've just had one. Oh, good. So what is the chances that we bump into a couple of girls that we met this morning when we were having buncha on Totit? We told them about the ice cream on the street and they've come over to try it as well. It was superb, absolutely gorgeous. So. 
onwards to something new. Now in every city you visit in the world, there's gonna come a time when you just need a little bit of comfort food. <laughs> now this place behind me is probably the equivalent of a KFC here in Hanoi. Simple food, very inexpensive, but the ribs and rice here are really good. So I would put this on a list of my top foods in Hanoi. Even though it's not really a traditional style food, it's good eating. Come on, let's go inside. Now the first thing they're gonna do is bring you out a little bowl of broth with some vegetables and spring greens in it. Now in some respects this can be a little superfluous, but it's a very tasty broth anyway. Now they've brought out my ribs here. Look how beautiful these ribs are. I've got three pieces of pork rib, I've got some fried rice, a little bit of pickled cabbage and some vegetables. Okay, let's get this fried rice to try. Okay. Superb. Simple fried rice, great flavor. And we've got these gorgeous ribs here. Mmm. Beautiful, sticky, tender pork. Falls off the bone. Now there is great food here in Hanoi. And the street food is to die for, but just occasionally, old style ribs and rice. There'll be details on my website if you want to take the food tour from the Steve's Kitchen website. I'll try and put a map there of some sort so that you can see where we've been. Get across, share the love, give this a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. If you follow the road till it leads you back home. The answer is yes.